It's Saturday, episode number 884, no, 984, I don't know, I can't remember, I should look that stuff, that's probably why nobody watches, because half the, not nobody, that's probably why we're not growing, because I just do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, and if you look up the definition of insanity, that's what that is. To do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. So yes, Aaron is considered insane. I mean, a thousand videos in a row is pretty, pretty insane. But it's insanely beautiful out here today. It's Saturday morning, the day after the launch. And it feels good to wake up and not be sold out of the number one. Well, we sold out of the little snowman pretty quick. And that one we are not making more of. I already told you guys that. But we do, as of this morning, I think, okay, as of last night, there were like 15 of the little reindeers left. Now, don't be alarmed if the reindeer sells out today because she does have more planned. She's just not going to update the website to say they're ready until they're actually ready and made. Because we don't want to update the website now and then your order have to sit here for two and a half, three weeks while we finish making those. So... In other words, more might come onto the website, like Black Friday or something. We might add more of those because she has a few more to finish. But, you know, there's this feeling, this overall emotion, way more for Liz than me. Because I just talk to you guys every day. Itchy head, not stress. I know some of you have correlated my hat removal and scratching my head. To a stressful thing. Oh, speaking of not stress, we just bought 110 bales of hay from the local hay guy. He had that different hay that had that milk spurge in it. Milk spurge, goats actually like it. It's actually kind of good for them. It's got protein and everything. It's that milky substance inside the stem. It's actually pretty good. So we just put that in. He has a shipping container full, so we gotta get it out of that container. I'm actually not too worried about it because we're going into the winter, which means the container won't get as hot as it normally does in the summer, but look, look at this waste these guys are doing. Look at that pile under there with Fat Amy. Fat Amy and this pile of beautiful hay. That's like a whole flake. I'm picking that thing back up. That is not stay in there on the floor and look at that it's a whole and rainy's over here eating it whole pile of beautiful hay that they just pulled out and threw right here on the floor normally we do not take hay off the floor but when they make it <clears throat> when they make it so obvious that it's the fluffy great hay these guys are actually do eating some uh, second cut right now. I, I threw them some second cut bales because I ran out of I ran out of first cut on the, in this barn. That's why we need to go get more of that. Hey, all right, Amy, what'd you do? Yeah, I know you're losing some weight, Amy. We almost can't call you that anymore. It's from the movie Sing, not Sing, uh, Pitch Perfect. Some of you guys might remember that. Lucy, at what point are you gonna realize we don't go that way? This way. And I still, and I still have to put the grain out. Yes, so if you go there with your friend, no, wrong way. Not that way. You are ridiculous. Nope, we're not going that way. I'll meet you on the other side, okay? I will. Like we said, same video every day. Um, yeah, we're changing that up. I don't. I don't know. There's a pressure. There's a, a, a fear. That I'm not gonna know what to do or what to say or what to talk about. But I gotta. I gotta change it up. Like an artist. Let's go back to Liz here and her amazing soap creations. You create all this stuff. You spend all this money on packaging and supplies and everything and, and ingredients and, and just time and all that stuff. 
and then your friends and your customers are so excited and it's almost like hosting a party at your house and people are excited but then do they show up or not like it's it's like a restaurant opening their doors hang on i'm gonna put you down and getting a lot of positive feedback from the community and saying oh it's gonna open up we're gonna go there but do you actually go or do you just say you're gonna go you know and in this case you guys not only said you were gonna go you did you showed up and you bought some holiday stuff so it was a good launch it was a very like release of emotions like from our side like oh the stress and the like weight and the oh wait a second now we got to start thinking of valentine's day and spring and kidding season and and are we opening the store for black friday and and piper not piper sorry piper's baby chai is pregnant if you haven't seen that update yet so now we got that confirmation. So we're, we've moved on. We're 24 hours past the launch and we've already moved on to something different. So it was exciting. Thank you guys for shopping. If you haven't gone shopping and you go there today, there should be some inventory of all your favorites. And, uh, you know... I saw some of you have said you've seen every video over the last couple of years. You were even here. Some of you were like, I was here when you were doing all your videos on the live channel before you even started this channel and separated the two. And you did the whole Simon Says Saturday. That went 100 episodes. And if you think 100 episodes, only one episode a week, that was two years. So we did a two-year run on that. We did a two-point six year run on this i think so i don't know we'll come up with something different you guys won't uh put it this way <laughs> you won't miss me i will uh not stop talking people tell me that all the time i told you lucy one of them fell on the ground i think i'm gonna put screws in them attach them to the fence the snow weight but they have holes in them to melt, to melt the snow out. So that's not an issue. It is interesting. The link is in the description below. I don't know if you guys have checked it out. I have that link down there, a video idea link. And Liz and I were talking about it last night. Like the where'd we come from idea. Like I'll literally drive to Waterbury. Waterbury can it basically be a video I make for my great great grandkids the ones that I'll never meet and you guys can watch it we'll tell the history of I don't know if we'll go as far as like where my mom's mom so my grandmother which you Portuguese people would know is called Vovo and Vuvu they lived in a three family house in Danbury and I remember it as a kid my grandfather had a little farm in the backyard he had chickens and rabbits and yes they ate rabbit in the portuguese world and he he even had a peacock and he and he like fed the local pigeons i mean that was my grandfather on the portuguese side my dad's dad i never met my dad's dad passed away when my dad was like 16 17 so i never met him so i don't have that side history but i know i actually do have some of that history one of you amazing villagers did some some history stuff for me and you get sent it all that was awesome info I, I might put that in a video somewhere where you did some lineage stuff because that's like a little hobby of yours and i have that data that was pretty cool but we might do that i might drive you know it's an hour and 15 minutes that way to waterbury and go uh go look at like the house I grew up in as a little kid and then where did I grow up as a teenager and and then and then what we'd have to do a different video with Liz and, or do we just drive around and make it one video together I don't know but it, it, that's that's a project and when you only make okay when you don't make enough money off YouTube to, to support this operation YouTube's more of a hobby with a little bit of like Hang on. 
we gotta go feed chickens. With a little bit of income, in other words, the launches are required. The soap, lotion, all that stuff, we have to do that to keep this business running. The YouTube is just more, it's more fun than it is financially. A financial winner. And now that we're gonna go down to less videos, it'll probably get less financial unless it grows and the view count per video goes up. I'm not worried about it. It's gonna get loud. duck eggs in here. Holy jeez. I haven't seen any duck eggs in a while. That's shocking. We're gonna go grab those. I'm locked in. Hang on. So yeah, you gotta get up. I was talking to Daniel about it. You kinda have to get up to maybe 10,000 views per video. Per video. Before anybody in the YouTube world, advertising world, you know, to talk about like bringing on a sponsor for maybe, say I do three videos a week and I bring on a sponsor for one video a week. So that's four sponsors a month, right? Um, you got to be over 10,000 views per video to even get any attention. And we're not even at 1,000. Ten thousand in the ah, where'd you guys go? Uh oh, this is what happens when I don't bring my tripod with me. You guys ran out of food. All right, where are we gonna put you guys? Let me just put you up here for a second. So I forgot my tripod. Chickens, go inside. I just fed you. Inside, I did. Yeah, so we got to try to find a way to get our views. A subscriber doesn't matter. You don't get paid on subscribers on YouTube. Ow! Hit my head. You get paid on views. So, you know, try to put out more content that's searchable, relatable, less just me chit-chatting to a camera, and uh, go from there. I got to get those duck eggs. But some of those family tour videos, those are not. Oh, look. Some critter tried to steal that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do have to get in here. It's that time of year. If you own a farm and you have outdoor animals, it's that time of year where the rats are going to start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> get it? Woodwork. And trying to steal things, you could see, because they're getting cold and they want to stay warm and fed, so they get really aggressive. You can almost see evidence right there. That could be a mole, could be a rat, could be a bunch of mice. We don't know, 100%. And I really don't want to put out too much in the form of poison because we have barn cats. And we don't want the poison anywhere near the barn cat. Whoa, can I get them? I got them. All four. Where are we going to put these to where I don't lose them? I don't know. So yeah, the launch went good. We gotta start packing some of that stuff. I might, it's Saturday. We're trying to take the day off. We got a couple little projects we have to do around the house today um, in the weekend. And then we start right into packing orders on Monday. May try to get some of them out today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's a slow day. It's a nice day. I might mow the lawn, get rid of a, Get rid of all those leaves on the front lawn. Just do a quick lawn mow. Oh, carve some pumpkins. That's what we're going to do today with the kiddos. Get the pumpkins carved. Figure out what to do with these eggs. I might go eat them for breakfast. Yeah, so take a look at that link down below in the description. Throw in some video ideas. Oh, one thing I thought was interesting. Is that a good majority of you guys like the 25-minute videos? You like the longer ones. You're not, a, not like... Most people, there's a couple people, you know, five to seven minutes are good, which a lot of the edited videos will probably end up in that space. I have not launched a road trip to Daniel and dropping off all that soap video because I was trying to get all four days done and edited. 
so I could launch all four in a row because it would just make sense. It wouldn't make sense to launch day one road trip and then two, three days of me just walking around the farm here and then day two road trip. That wouldn't make sense. Just do all four in a row and then tell you guys, hey, the road trip videos are coming out. They're not as exciting as you might think they're going to be, but I think I got two of them edited. I got to go to one more. I lost some footage on the road. That stunk. But, yeah, so quiet out here today. Look. Okay, I was hoping the leaf was going to move in the wind. It was very like B-roll type thing, you know, where you just like watch Mother Nature push a leaf across the, but it didn't want to do it. So I was telling Liz, think of it, remember you're an artist that makes soap and your fans showed up to your gallery and they didn't just look at your pretty paintings on the wall, they actually bought them. So feel proud of that and now make more art. That's how artists work, right? I actually have a art, I have a piece of art I still want to get back to the, oh, I just made that smudgy. Hang on. I still want to get back in the garage and maybe I will do that today or tomorrow. Get back in the garage and try some more of that pendulum painting, but actually mixed media is what I'm thinking. A big canvas, like three feet by three feet, something like that. Come up with a concept in your one of one pieces of art. You make it and when I say mixed media, it can have paint. It can have things glued to it. It can have all, and it's just something in my head that I want to make. It's a one of one. I'll either own it and hang it on the wall or I'll sell it to somebody. But before I do that, I'll take a picture of it. And that picture can then get reprinted onto canvas for other people if they just want to buy a reproduction or a print. It's kind of like the way some artists work they make the the original the original hangs up in a gallery somewhere but you could always buy prints or recreations and there's a couple things i've written down that i have like i want to make something that looks like this and try it i don't know who knows all right that's it that's all i got for today chai is pregnant mila goes in for her ultrasound next week i don't know what day couple days today's saturday remember november 2nd 2024 so we got to start setting up and preparing for puppies that's coming in the next 35 days thanksgiving day basically thanksgiving day puppies that's crazy that means black friday we could have one day old puppies which means no you cannot see them if you come on black friday because they can't touch humans other than liz and i for the first like four days that's how lockdown we need even our kids can come in masks on and everything old covid style for the first like three days three or four days and then after that they can start seeing they can't go outside for like two weeks so there's a lot i think it's three weeks actually i don't know there's a lot involved we have to start cleaning areas figuring out where we're going to put them all that stuff we gotta start prepping all that too that's coming next but we gotta start prepping the store to make it um Black Friday ready, we're still gonna open. We just don't know timing yet. So if you're local, put that in your calendar, come to Simon Says Farm, say hi to the goats. Maybe see uh, Santa Claus and his rain goat, Oakley, and buy some soap, hang out. Maybe if the burn permit's gone by then, burn flag thing, we'll have the little fireplace in the farm store going. But we got a lot of weeding to do, internet to run, like all these things. Are on the list and I think that's more of what my videos are actually gonna be less of me telling you what we're gonna do in the morning at, you know 8 30 9 30, 9 23 in the morning and actually doing it recorded and then saving it and then when I have time go edit it and post it more of the actual work and less of just the talk I think that's what we're gonna do I don't know though I gotta look at new cameras what am I gonna do for cameras am I gonna try something different other than just the cell phone? Probably not, but the cell phone doesn't last long. Battery dies by like 11. A 25 minute video, this is 19 minutes now, will literally bring my battery from like 80, 90% down to like 20 or 30. So I gotta look into tech like that. I, I don't know, just ideas. 
ideas and I'm glad you guys are running with us on all our ideas, all our craziness. And uh, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow on Sunday with something. I don't know what. Sunday fun day. Coming soon. All right. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow for video 880 something, 89, 90, somewhere around there. See you later. Have a great day.